Within the Twilight Sepulchre, I happened upon the spirit of Gallus, the Nightingale murdered by Mercer Frey. He warned me that removing the key from its resting place has corrupted the other resident Nightingale guardian spirits, distorting their morality and making them incredibly hostile. I replied, Don't give no craps! I'm Argyle, fool. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to more Stephen Plays Skyrim on the last episode. We managed to get here by the end of the episode, starting Darkness Returns, giving back the Skeleton Key. I'm going it alone because my pet and my follower are not allowed to come. I don't really know what's in store, but it should be a good time. Let's proceed and uh, see what we're up against. I imagine we're going to be doing some fighting, apparently against... Uh, hostile Nightingale spirits because of a lack of some or other. Gallus explained it all. Watch the end of last episode and uh, you'll be informed. Iron Door. Death comes for you now. Ah! Evil Nightingales! I get you? No, I actually hit the thing instead. God. It's a little interesting because I'm so used to having assistance, you know? I'm used to having my follower and little Breckflick there. So it's a little odd to not have them. Okay, I just decapitated a ghost, because that makes sense. Search ghostly remains. They've got elven arrows on them. Um, and I am... I'm back in archer mode for the most part, so I could use some arrows. I'll take them because that's probably some of the best arrows I'm going to get right now. Looks like I can maybe fit behind that statue, but I can also go this way. This is some sort of secret entrance or exit or something. So we got a Grand Soul Gem, 2920 Evening Star, which is nothing. We are searching for a journal. It's optional, but if I can, I, I should probably try and find it. Uh, button. I pressed button. Uh, yeah, I don't know where this guy's journal is going to be, but uh, if we just keep our eyes peeled, we should be able to locate it. Not sure how long this mission is. Go ahead and open up this chest. Could be in the chest. Um, but hopefully we will get this over with, return the skeleton key, and then get started on uh, some of the other things we need to do for the Thieves' Guild. Silver Jeweled Necklace. Sure, why not? I've got a lot of a lot of weight I can take on right now, so... Uh, that button did not open this door, which is definitely a door, I think. Probably. It looks like a door. Was there another button in this room, or should I just search elsewhere? Probably elsewhere. That button was kind of hard to find, and there's very few times they use buttons. They usually use chains. So it was interesting to see them using a button. Looks like there's something else on the other side of the room, so let's go check it out. No more ghosts, though. Um, Frontier Conquest, Pirate, Dancing Fire, Black Hero, Black Hero, blah, blah, blah. None of these are it. Bloody Skull. We got some poisons. Some Sunny D. Uh, oh, wait. Nope, Code of Malakoth. There's a bunch of interesting books here, which is nice, but none of these are the books... Wait, wait, hold on. Biography of Barons? No. Gal Galerion the Mystic. I just... I don't know if I've ever seen that one. What is that? I don't know. It's not important. And Yellow Book Riddles, blah, 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 blah. Now, for reference, what we're looking for is Nystrom's Journal, which I imagine looks probably considerably different from other books. Unfortunately, we still haven't found it yet. Uh, could be further in. Um, it's also optional. That's the the only issue. Is it's because it's optional, it may be off the beaten path because it's not required that you find it. We're gonna proceed further in here. This must be the way to go. Jump over this. Does live I live the among the dead. Boom. Yeah. Well, at least they're easy. If there were a few of them at once, I may have some trouble. But uh, right now, no. This is gonna be a cakewalk. But I'm also Argyle. Very rarely have any problems. Whoa, it's dark in here. Holy crap. I can't even see. Ugh, it's kind of... Whoa! What the... What the... Oh, God! Oh, Jesus! Whoa, 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 whoa. Couldn't help but notice that I'm dying. Why am I dying? Um, potions. Potion of ultimate healing. I get 21 of those. Am I still being zapped? Okay, I'm not being zapped. I was apparently zapped when I got on top of that platform. Wait, I'm being zapped again. Oh my god! What the pick? What the what, uh, what the pick? I saw a lockpick said what the pick. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Ah! What the heck? 
Why am I dying? I'm dying. There's something. There's something bad going on in here. Where do I go? Where do I go? Oh God! Oh God! I just keep sucking down these potions. Should I use become ethereal? Does that work here? I have no idea. Open iron door. Get out of here. Woo! I had to use a few potions, but I got through. Ironically, the entire time I had this in my hand, which would have helped immensely. But uh, I, I don't always think these things through. There could be something interesting in that other room that I missed, but to be honest, I have no interest in going back for it, and can you blame me? Oh, hey, giant statue. You must be the person I'm looking for. Oh, you're a dead bandit. Well, you got this far, so you should feel pretty proud. All right, so it's over in here. Gold. Can I talk to you? You look mean, but I like your bird. Uh, there's a secret passage behind you, so there's probably some sort of button or chain. Got it. Did that do it? Wait, what? What did that do? Okay, let's try this chain. Oh, pull both chains. Got it. And no one's behind me. No one's following me. Whew. Let's, uh, let's proceed. That draining your life part was a little weird. I, I didn't know if I, maybe I was doing that wrong or I should have been doing something else. I didn't even get to test if Become Ethereal did what I wanted it to do, but uh, I'm just glad I got through there and it wasn't too bad. Ha! Unlock Master... Ah, yeah, okay. I have the skeleton key. God, I'm gonna have... <sighs> it's gonna be so weird getting rid of the skeleton key. There was a commenter... Uh, in the last video that said, you know, I don't even remember what lockpicks look like. And, uh, I agree. I also don't remember what they look like. It's gonna be weird going back to them. Um, luckily I have several hundred of them. So that should last me for the rest of the game, no problem. Where am I? I don't know. But we have a... Wait, what? We have a marker now. Let me go to, uh, let me go to the map here. Map. Wait, what? Retrieve not... What? Twilight Sepulchre Inner Sanctum Skyrim. Wait, was it like in that room? Are you... Are you kidding me? Oh my god, son of a gun. It is here. Ah, oh, I should have paid attention to the quest marker and I wouldn't have had to have come back. Ebony War Axe of Harvesting. He also had a satchel here with some stuff I can uh, certainly take. Nystrom, you son of a gun. Give me your gold and your lockpick. I'll read your journal. Nystrom's journal. I don't know why I let Anders talk me into this plan. He said the place would be full of riches, but I have yet to even see a single coin. To make matters worse, I think the other priests are beginning to suspect we aren't who we say we are. If they discover we're posing as priests of Nocturnal, I'm sure they're not going to simply ask us to leave nicely. I'll have to watch my step. As an acolyte of Nocturnal, I've been assigned a mentor, old dark elf fellow by the name of Lithelius. Uh, maybe if I act a part, I can pry some information from him about the Pilgrim's Path. Ander swears to me that all of the Temple's wealth is stashed within their inner sanctum, which supposedly sits at the end of the path, so my job is to get us through the obstacles alive. Lithelius was easier to coax than I expected, gave me a wealth of information on the Pilgrim's Path, but he was speaking in riddles. I'll try to record what I remember here and share it with Anders after he's done with his mentor. Uh, the only thing Lithelius seemed clear about was that there were five tests on the path. This is what he said about each. Shadows of their former selves, sentinels of the dark. They wander evermore and deal swift death to defilers. Okay, so those are the Nightingale people that are attacking me. Above all they stand, vigilance everlasting, beholden to the murk yet contentious of the glow. Okay? Offer what she desires most, but reject the material. For her greatest want is that which cannot be seen, felt, or carried. Direct and, in and yet indirect, the path to salvation a route of cunning with fortune betraying the foolish. The journey is complete. The Empress's embrace awaits the fallen. Hesitate not if you wish to gift her your eternal devotion. He also mumbled some nonsensical phrases like night is the new day and how he was the ghost of the sun. I have no idea what these cryptic mess sentiments mean, but hopefully during tomorrow's ritual, Anders and I will put everything we've learned to the test. And now I have to go back through all of that nonsense. Took a while, but I am now back to where I was. Uh, let's continue onward and figure out what we're supposed to do in this room. Hello! We've got some friends. I think I'll just jump down here and say hello! Deal with them now so I don't have to worry about dealing with them. And where'd they go? They're 
Are they running away from me? They're not running away. They're just stop moving, dang it! Actually, they are trying to. They're trying to get away from me, so they can shoot me from a distance. Pretty sure that's what's up. They're actually a little more powerful than I thought. Washa! Don't mind me, just decapitating another ghost. All right, search for ghostly remains. Elven arrow. Cool. Uh, I think that was it for everyone in here. Uh, let's take a look and see what we see. It's a big old thing here. A coin purse. 16 gold. Yeah, I'll take that 16 gold. Uh, we have got an orcish dagger and a ruby. Immortal blood. We got various books. It's a cool looking place. Elven arrows. Take elven arrows or the deadly poison. Uh, we got a random book. Proper lock design, which I'm assuming would increase your lock picking skill. But we've done that uh, long ago. Let's go up here. Not seeing much. Okay. There was another place right next to this one where you had to, like, go through some axes or something. So I guess that's where we need to go because there's nothing actually in this. Wait a minute. I think this brought us out on the other side of the, those axes. Yeah, it did. Okay, wait. Is that the door I came in? Yeah, yeah, I believe so. Okay, we're going this way. Twilight Sepulchre Inner Sanctum. About time. All right. So this is where the poop hits the fan, so to speak. I don't know what I'm expecting, but I think I'll get a chance maybe to talk to Nocturnal, possibly. Get to have a little chitty chat. Also, the the contrast in this is extreme, but it's really pretty. And uh, for once, it's different than just gray. Okay. Um, might as well jump. Do do do. Do 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 do. Wait, what? Wait, what? Search Anders. Anders message. I can't believe it. I came all this way, solved all those ridiculous riddles. Just end up here. After I memorized Nystrom's clues he'd collected from Lithelis, I slit his throat. Now I guess the joke's on me because I'm stuck here and I don't see a way out. Hope someone comes by soon. I'm getting hungry. What? Gold, lockpick, iron dagger of embers. Um. There's gotta be. There's gotta be a way. Whoa, this is creepy. Skeleton key. Holy balls. Woo! Woo! Whoa, that was. That was creepy. Okay, these aren't doors. Okay, none of them are doors. There's no... <sighs> it's been a long, fun journey with this skeleton key. I'm kind of sad to give it back, but... It's got to be done. Here you go. Whoa! Holy balls! My mom. What do we have here? It's been a number of years since I've set foot on your world. Or perhaps it's been moments one tends to lose track. So, once again, the key has been stolen, and a champion returns it to the Sepulchre. Now that the Ebonmere has been restored, you stand before me awaiting your accolades. A pat on your head. A kiss on your cheek. What you fail to realize is your actions were expected and represents nothing more than the fulfillment of your agreement. What? Don't mistake my tone for displeasure. After all, you've obediently performed your duties to the letter. But we both know this has little to do with honor and oaths and loyalty. It's about the reward. The prize. Fear not. You'll have your trinkets, your desire for power, your hunger for wealth. I bid you to drink deeply from the Ebonmere mortal, for this is where the agent of Nocturnal is born. The oath has been struck, 
The die has been cast, and your fate awaits you in the Everglow. Farewell, Nightingale. See to it the key stays this time, won't you? Well, that was different. Hi. So you're here too. I'm glad you were able to bring the key back safely. Nocturnal seemed quite pleased with your efforts. Pleased? She sounded indifferent. I wouldn't take that to heart. It's her way. Think of her as a scolding mother continually pushing you harder to be successful, outwardly sounding angry, but silently content. I assure you, had she been displeased with you, we wouldn't be having this conversation. So what's this about becoming an agent of Nocturnal? The circles at the base of the Ebonmere imbue you with powers befitting a Nightingale agent. The Crescent Moon represents the Agent of Shadow, the Half Moon for the Agent of Subterfuge, and the Full Moon for the Agent of Strife. Okay, well why can't I be all three? This is Nocturnal's way of maintaining balance. If you ever feel the need to change your abilities, you can return to the Sepulchre and step onto a different circle. Be warned that once you've chosen, you can't reselect for at least a day. So what now? Now, your life as a Nightingale begins. Should the need arise, you'll be summoned to the Sepulchre in order to defend it. And you? The Guild has welcomed me back with open arms. I feel like a void in my life has finally been filled. I only hope that this isn't an ending to things, but actually the beginning. The beginning of what? Why, perhaps the greatest crime spree Skyrim's ever known. There are pockets brimming with coin and coffers overflowing with riches ripe for the picking. We may be nightingales, but in our hearts we're still thieves, and we're damn good at what we do. So, about the Agent of Strife. This Agent of Strife can send forth a tendril of pure darkness into the heart of another, causing great injury to them. At the same time, this tether will bolster the Agent's own life force, making him stronger. See, what's interesting is that these are all grayed out. Like, she's apparently told me about these before, but it's been like hundreds of episodes ago and I have no idea what they are. Okay, so Strife is an offensive attack. Subterfuge. The agent of subterfuge utilizes shadow to cloud the judgment of those around him. By weaving the darkness to their will, this agent can manipulate others into fighting for the Nightingale for a limited time. So basically a really crappy bend will. No thanks, I already have that. Agent of Stealth. The agent of stealth is the master of remaining unseen. They are able to manipulate the darkness and use it to their advantage. On moonlit nights or in darkened rooms, this agent literally becomes invisible. That one sounds cool. I don't really need to do any kind of offensive damage, so let's go with the agent of stealth here. Choose your path, and your journey will be complete. So which one, how do I know which is which? It doesn't... They said the full moon is the one that's the stealth? Okay, this is strife. That's not the one I wanted. I wanted... It's not the... That's not... Carlyle. Oh my god. Gallus. I feared I would never see you again. I was afraid you'd become like the others. If it were not for the actions of this Nightingale, your fears would have come true. He honors us all. Now, my love. Nocturnal calls me to the Everglow. My contract has been fulfilled. Will I ever see you again? When your debt to Nocturnal has been paid, we'll embrace once again. Farewell, Gallus. Eyes open. Walk with the shadows. Goodbye, Carlyle. That's kind of sad. Bye, bro. You were cool. Just or just stand there. Yes, Nightingale. What is it? Nothing. Where will you be from now on? I've decided to make my home at Nightingale Hall. 
since it's your home as well. I hope to see you and Brynjolf there. Of course, I may visit some of Skyrim cities to acquire things from time to time. Can't afford to get rusty now, can we? Hmm. So how will I know if I'm needed here? If this place is in danger ever again, the shadows will call. Should the need arise, a portal connects the Sepulchre and Nightingale Hall. Use it whenever you wish. Hmm. So, where did Gallus go? Gallus's oath has been paid. His actions have satisfied the terms. Now his spirit becomes one with the Everglow, the realm of perpetual twilight and the cradle of shadow. So he's gone? No, not gone. He's become one with the shadows. This is the greatest honor a Nightingale can possibly achieve. In death, he's become a part of that which we use to live. They're a part of the darkness around us. Absolutely. When we say, walk with the shadows, we are asking those nightingales who have passed on to protect us. It's believed that they are literally what guides our uncanny luck by placing their hands in ours. That's why the Ebonmere needed to be reopened. Without it, there's no way Nocturnal was able to allow them through. Hmm. All right. Well, thanks. So well. Eyes open, the shadows. I am a little upset that I picked the wrong one, but apparently you can switch it every day. So if I wait 24 hours, can I just switch it back to the one I really wanted? Let's try. And maybe? Can I step on this now? Shadow Cloak of Nocturnal added. Okay, so it did work. All right, so let's check out what this thing is. Shadow Cloak. I'm assuming it's power. Shadow Cloak. Uh, nocturnal. For 120 seconds, you automatically become invisible while sneaking. Which is pretty cool. So if I ever really, 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 really need to be sneaky, I can I can do such a thing. Also, this thing, man, it's going to be fun to use near the end of the LP. Alright, so how do I, uh, how do I get out of here? Do I just, I just activate portal to entrance? Yeah, let's do that. And here I am! Um... This is new. These weren't lit up before. Pretty sure they weren't. Uh, I think it was kind of dark in here before. Um, done. Done and done. Gallus is gone and the world is beautiful. Also, is this thing just a big portal now? Oh, that is much nicer. So I don't have to go through all that bullcrap again. Excellent. All right. Um, now that this is all said and done... The only thing left to do is to work on the Thieves Guild stuff. So we actually have to go to the Thieves Guild and start doing random quests for them. And after we get enough done, we'll unlock some proper missions for them, supposedly. Let's head over to the Thieves Guild now. It's good to see you in one piece, lot. Good to see you. I just wanted to give you a proper thank you for everything you've done. Thanks. The Guild is back on its feet again and on its way to a prosperous future. What's become of the Skeleton Key? Yeah, it's been returned to the sepulcher. That's it then. After all those years of helplessly watching the guild decline. But enough of that. I'm confident that with you in charge, we'll soon have more gold than we could possibly spend. So where will you be now? I'll be down here, trying to coordinate everything with Delvin and Vex. To make sure the coin keeps flowing, and no one skims. If you still feel like doing some jobs, I'm sure Delvin and Vex have more than their fair share to give out. Either way, it's been a pleasure, my friend. Here's to the future of the Guild. May it last another thousand years. So that's that. Now we have to seek out Delvin or Vex. Uh, I don't think it matters who to get uh, jobs from them. And once we do jobs, then we'll be so... Was this always here? This wasn't always here. Was this always here? All diseases cured. Other blessings removed. Blessing of Nocturnal added. Alright, I believe it has been a while since I have been here. But Oh, hello. Oh, you're not... Back from a job, huh? Sapphire. Want to talk? Go ahead. Oh, that's right. We had a long conversation that around? one time. There's a lot of friggin' thieves here, man. There's a lot of people. It never used to be like this. It's, it's become so busy. Uh, this is the direction I want to go. I want to go to the actual um, flagon itself, which is through this door. Alrighty. Uh, over here. 
That goes to the right way vaults, which we don't want to do. Here we go, Delvin. How's it going, buddy? You doing all right? Looking for wood. Uh, yeah. Uh, how will doing extra jobs help the guild? Years ago, the guild used to have a foothold in every major city in Skyrim. You wouldn't dare even lift an apple without checking with us. When things started going downhill around here, it became difficult to keep it all together. We lost fences, influential contacts, and coin. It wasn't long before we lost what we depend on to survive. Respect. By doing these extra jobs, and putting some fear into the people, we can take back the cities and start being taken seriously once again. And that's what we're going to be trying to do. Take back a city? What's that mean? Thanks to Maven Blackbriar, we still have some pull in Riften. But get arrested in Whiterun, and you'll be tossed right into the prisons. If we gain the confidence of someone very influential who lives there by doing a unique job for them, we'll be able to have some leverage there too. The only way we get that special job is by doing smaller ones in those cities until we catch their ear. Then, they'll contact me, and we're off. Alright, so that actually was a good explanation for you guys so you know what's going on. We have to do various small jobs in various cities. Once we've done enough of these small jobs in each city, then we have a special job opened up in that particular city. So, give me some work. I had all the fishing, numbers, and bedlam jobs. The ones with a more personal touch. If break-ins are more your thing, Go talk to Vex. Okay. Um, hmm. If I want to do break-ins... Ah, uh, you know what? Tell me about the numbers jobs. Most of the establishments in Skyrim keep their transactions recorded within business ledgers. Your job will be to change the numbers in those books so the shortfalls from our other jobs look legit. Feel like doing a bit of writing? Uh, tell me about this other stuff. Fine. But you're not getting any wealthier by weaseling out of everything I offer you. I'm not trying to weasel. Got lots of job. Bad time. Bring right. your uh, tell me about these me fishing money. jobs. There are all sorts of people wandering around carrying their valuables on their person. Just waiting for someone like you to pick their pocket. So, you in for a little fishing? Uh, I've got other you're not gonna to get richer okay, with that Okay, yes, attitude. okay, shut up, Delvin. Need some gold. Bloody I want to learn toy. about the Bedlam jobs. Some, sometimes we just like to remind a city that we mean business, so we hit them hard. Just steal whatever we can until we made an impression. Simple, right? Almost. The catch is, it doesn't count if anyone sees you take it. The message needs to be clear. We work in the shadows. Steal from anywhere in the hold, and you even get to keep everything you stole. So, you in? That actually sounds like a lot of fun. Um, forget it for now, I want to go talk to Vex. When you find your nerves, they will talk. Jeez, you need to chill out. Where is Vex? Right over here, right? Vex! Need a few spare septums? I got the cure right here. Alright, extra work? I handle the burglary, shell, sweep, and heist jobs. Most of them involve breaking and entering. If you don't like that kind of work, talk to Delvin. He runs the more up-close and personal jobs. Alright, uh, tell me about the burglary jobs. Pretty simple. Break into a house, grab a specific item, and get out before they realize what's going on. The catch is you can't kill anyone who lives there, or you forfeit the payment. You ready for some good old-fashioned burglary? Uh, second thought. Look, I don't like wasting my time. God, everyone Come gets so freaking get mad serious. over everything. I have got plenty. Take your pick. Alright, let's uh, learn about the shill jobs. When a client needs us to eliminate another, we don't operate like the Dark Brotherhood. We find alternate means to get them out of the way. We send you to plant some phony evidence in the Mark's house and then tip off the town guard. The rest takes care of itself. Hmm. Sound like you can handle it? That actually sounds pretty fun. Look, if you just want to sit around the flagon all day getting drunk, <laughs> that's your business. Just quit wasting my time. Jeez. Need a few spares? I bet you are. Which one do you want? Uh, tell me about the sweep jobs. One of the quickest ways to make some coin in Skyrim is to clear out some of the wealthier homes of their valuables. If you're interested, I could point out a good place that could use a little house cleaning. What do you say? 
Interesting. I will pass right now. The last time I checked, gold coins aren't falling from the heavens. <laughs> you better take some jobs if you want to earn your share. All right, let's let's learn about the heist jobs. I, I bet you are. Which one do you want? Every now and again, we like to remind the shopkeepers that we're in charge. If that means breaking into their strong boxes and stealing something valuable from them, then so be it. Feel like doing a bit of shopping? The guild way? Uh, what else you got? Look, if you just want to sit around the flat okay, and okay. drunk... Okay, okay. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. I just wanted to have all of those jobs explained to us. Um... The goal, what we're going to try and do is, uh, I think you have to do four, at least four or five in each hold, or the major holds or something. Comes out to like 20 to 30 different, like, small jobs you have to do, but we won't worry about showing all of them on camera. What I'm mostly interested in showing is one of each type. Apparently there's seven different types, so over the course of the next probably two episodes, we'll be trying to show uh, one of each type of the small jobs then hopefully we will unlock the bigger jobs and then those will be certainly uh a part of the episodes anyway that's going to be it for today thank you guys so much for watching and uh join me next time whenever we start being a thief again it's gonna be exciting should probably probably put on different armor <laughs>